morning. You may be wondering from the sun now, why St. James the Less? Well, a few hundred yards time and one last grind of a hill will be there and I'll explain. I'm here, it's just gone 12.30. I'm at the church of St James the Less for Fox Goat with Shoscombe. Services from Easter Day till the end of October in winter at Shoscombe School Church. I'm in the Wellow Valley. I've just come along this way. That's the side of the valley, the fox goat side. You can see it sort of veering at that side. Shoscombe would be right opposite us. We'll get some views of it shortly. I came across this place during the, the lockdown of a couple of years back when you were restri restricted to one bout of daily exercise, but they encouraged you not to go too far. So I did a lot of local exploring and I just fell in love with this place. And I've been at a few times since. And I've even been out and had a couple of picnics ever since. So that's exactly what I'm doing today. What a gem, eh? This is absolutely beautiful. There's my bike with my picnic in. And there's even a picnic bench. Well, a public seat just behind that bush there. Yeah, great, it's still there. That's where I'm going to set up my picnic. As you can see, I've bought everything I hope I'm going to need. There's, there's hygiene for hand, so you've got gel and some wet wipes. A bar of chocolate for later on. An apple. A bottle of wine. A wine glass. And one of my favourite lunchtime meals from the high street a Greg's ham and salad roll I've got the bag to take all the rubbish away but it's also going to act as a seat just to make sure I don't get my bum wet Cheers Cheers, good health everybody, happy new year, all the best for 2022. I'm going to tuck into my picnic now, you don't want to see me eat, so I'm going to zoom forward now on the film and then tell you some of my plans for later in the year, plus what I've been up to recently. Bon appetit, cheers. <coughs> Hello again, well I've had my picnic and it's absolutely marvellous, beautiful spot this. I'm probably going to have to leave in about another 10 minutes. There is quite a cold wind blowing and I'm cooling rapidly, but I've thoroughly enjoyed this little excursion. I did say I'd share some of my plans and also what I've been doing recently. Maybe the, what I've been doing recently first. Last few years, especially after the lockdown, when I lost a lot of fitness and put on a few pounds, I found Red January really, really beneficial. And let me explain what that is. It's an incentive to help people beat the January blues, really. Quite often people have a bit of a dip, don't they, in January. And I came across it through Kelly Holmes, who I'm a huge fan of. And I think she's patron of the charity. And it encourages people to run every day during the month of January, or do any exercise. So I do running, riding, or I use my rowing machine, or a combination of all three. And so I'm two thirds of the way through that at the moment. And I've said before, I never celebrate progress. I celebrate my commitment. So I feel like two thirds of the way through, I've got another 11 days. It's not a chore anymore. You know, I'm just looking forward to every single day. And I'm really feeling the benefits as well, because 
I potted a few pounds for Christmas, I think I felt a bit potty and I just feel like they're, they're, I'm shedding them quite quickly. I've also started to do some longer rides, I've done a couple of hundred kilometre rides, did a hundred and fifty kilometre ride at the weekend. I plan to do a, an imperial hundred miler this weekend. So the 150 was I think 93 miles so I'm just bumping it up to 100, 101. So psychologically it gets me across the line and then to celebrate the end of Red January I will be making a donation of £31. It seems appropriate because I gain a lot from it and also it's a chance to give to, to a good cause. And also I'm going to try and celebrate with a 200 kilometre ride and then build up to do a 300. I've actually entered a 300 all that's calendar event for April actually. It'd be the first calendar event, event I've been ridden for about four years. And then a 400 in May and then 600 hopefully either before I do my holiday in June or maybe after it like I did last year. More about that nearer the time. So a super random era series this year. And referencing my holiday, my plan this year is to ride the coast of East Anglia from Ipswich all the way around the coast to Kings Lynn. I became aware of these World War I pillboxes a couple of years back through my YouTube mate Tom Outdoors and they're quite distinctive, they're either circular or hexagonal, very unlike the more common World War II rectangular ones we see scattered all over the country. And I, I just knew I wanted to go and have a look at some, so I've been researching them and I'm going to try and locate 25 and visit them all. My wife's knitted me some large red poppies and I'm going to leave a poppy or try to leave a poppy every one I visit. Included in the tour I'm going to visit the scene of some Zeppelin bombing raids in Ipswich and Kings Lynn and also where some German naval vessels shelled Lowestoft so you can sort of see the theme of the tour and also it's a spectacular bit of the coast and it's a part of the country I don't really know that well. I've already booked my accommodation for the first night at Ipswich and the last night at Kings Lynn. They're both going to be travel lodges so I'll be getting the train to Ipswich and then back from Kings Lynn when I finish. I'm probably going to bivy with a basher and just take very minimal cooking kit and try and eat in cafes and restaurants because on the way there Bath my hometown to Ipswich I will have to change stations in London. I'm going to ride between Paddington and Liverpool Street and there's six World War One memorials in London en route by complete coincidence that are managed by English Heritage so I've mapped out a route that I can visit each one of those as well on my excursion <laughs> between Paddington and Liverpool Street. When I come back from Kings Lynn, it drops me off at Kings Cross, and then it'll just be a straight ride down to Paddington and home. I've done quite a bit of research. I've identified 25. Um, I'm going to do a video on that soon, so I'm not going to expand on that too much. So that's my plans anyway. So I'll just finish off my wine, pack up, make sure I leave no trace here, take all my rubbish with me. I'm going to head on in the direction I've been coming, drop back down. To the Weller Valley at Foxcote Viaduct. Start climbing up towards Shoscombe and then turn right and then I'll rejoin the route I bought out of Bath. It's the Collier's Way following the East Somerset and Dorset Railway back into Bath, my hometown. Anyway, with that in mind, I'm going to sign off here. So thank you very much for watching. Look out for each other. Until next time.